I'm here at Siebert's Christmas Tree Farm, just one of many here in Gainesville, and there's a new Christmas tree fee that has owners divided. Some see it as a potential boost to business, and others see it as a lump of coal in their stocking. We decided to get a Christmas tree locally this year, and Jess had the idea to go and cut it down, and I've always dreamed of going out in the snowy fields and chopping it down, <laughs> but uh, since we're in Florida, I guess we're not going to be uh, getting snowed on. Jim and Jessica are on the hunt for the perfect Christmas tree at the Unicorn Hill Christmas Tree Farm. Okay, let's take a gander. It's okay. Let's get a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. But the art of buying a real tree is taking a hit. You know, and we're in a big race against, um, uh, you know, the artificial uh, tree industry, which has uh, grown exponentially. And here's something new. You can even buy your real tree online from the comfort of your own home from retailers like Target and Sears. And they'll even ship this freshly cut tree for you to your own home. To promote the homegrown tree industry, the National Christmas Tree Association is imposing a 15 cent fee on any Christmas tree grown inside the U.S. The fee was implemented in Executive Order 12988. We honestly believe that it's probably one of the neatest things that we can do in order to provide more activity for the National, the, the National Christmas Tree Association. The fee is meant to help, not hurt the industry through added advertising money. But some feel it's a Grinch-like move. Christmas trees, uh, you know, it's just one of those things you probably shouldn't, uh, you know, tag more um, cost to, especially real trees that produce oxygen and whatnot. And with the light fading fast, Jim and Jessica may have just found their tree. Oh, this is the one. Like for the store? Hells yeah, look at it, it's perfect, right? And for the Gregory's, the extra fee is worth it if it means more buyers like Jim and Jessica choose real trees over fake ones. We feel that uh, the advertising that would come from this tax would promote the real tree and let people understand that the carbon footprint that this industry leaves behind, even for those trees shipped from Oregon, Washington, Wisconsin, is a lot less than the carbon footprint that's left in the world with the factories in China. As the sun sets behind them, Jim and Jessica finally <laughs> cut down their tree. Now owners do want to stress that this new fee will not raise rates for their customers. In Gainesville, I'm Cara Van Hoos, WUFT News.